peace and light that old guy Australia coming to you from the far south coast beautiful sunny day but nothing to show you no beach no hills like share subscribe Instagram YouTube I don't know if you know but a couple of nights ago on the full moon with the blood red moon one of the most evil men in the world passed away a guy called Evelyn Rothschild head of the Rothschild group a man who had handed down to him the reins of the destiny of humanity as they march the world towards forming their utopia. Now he's passed the reins down to his son because this is a lineal thing. His great, 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 great grandfather Amschel founded the foundation, which we now know, of course, as the Rothschild Banking Group. In Germany, as a Jew, because we know the Jesuits control it all. They control the world banking system, all the, reverse, all the reserve banks, all the interest rates, the monetary flow, the economies of world, governments, everything. It's all the Jesuits. They're the head of the snake. And we know that. Or we don't. <laughs> I've got a friend that keeps sending me things that refute everything I've ever said to him. Not seeming to understand... That the truth is never ever published. Once the truth's out, the media, the complicit media, refuses to publish it, refuses to put it out there, and away go the little army of workers being paid billions of dollars to write up articles to refute what might be said. So that people like him can go and get something and send it to you and go, oh, there you go, you're wrong. I go, oh, okay, no worries. Continue on as you were, nothing to see here. In Victoria at the moment, we have a situation where, in my opinion, the Andrews government will be re-elected. And then Mr Andrews will come out on and say, well, you know, despite everything that you criticise me about, despite the lockdowns and the brutality and fire and rubber bullets at the protesters and women and children and using EMF machines against them and all sorts of things, despite all that, I've been voted back in. I've been given that mandate because the people love me, therefore I'm back in power. When they asked the Chief Health Minister whether or not there'd be a lockdown before Christmas, he said, it's not in my hands, or it's out of my hands. And if you knew, about a year and a half ago, Dan Andrews had the entire act rewritten to give him absolute power and control over establishing lockdowns. Did you not know that? That's why the Chief Health Minister said it's out of my hands. He doesn't make that final decision. Dan Andrews does. So we're expecting that to happen in Victoria, and they've just mandated the fifth cupcake. The fifth. Ah, yes. Don't you love the smell of graphene in the morning? Mm -mm. So continue about your day. Do your best to be nice to people. There's no comfort in any of this. And that's what my jabby friend seems to misunderstand. I do not wish to be right. I want to be proven wrong. I'm happy to be humiliated and proven to be an absolute nutcase. That won't bother me in the slightest. Because I'm telling you, the alternative is terrifying. If I'm right, or if we're right, God help humanity. But see, to look at that and even consider that, like my friend won't do, means putting all your beliefs to one side. Everything you've stood for, everything you thought you knew, the truth that you have subscribed to, sitting it down and going, okay, let's look at this over here. Knowing full well that that could shatter and fall into a pile of rubble. And most men that I know are too scared to do it. They may be large men, they might have their little tribal tattoos, they could be anything, but they're cowards internally. They're cowards. Nothing worse than having everything you've ever believed challenged and possibly destroyed. It happened to me. It was very, very difficult I had to reevaluate my entire life. I am still doing it. I've now begun to have my eyes open to what's going on and I understand that everything I ever thought was true, most of it is absolute rubbish. It's lie after lie after lie, manipulated lie. And here we are, just stacked up you know in this matrix being fed rubbish while those who want to control the world set about 
for me, pardon me, their utopia. I, I watched that, uh, I'm not going to say his name because it's controversial, but nonetheless, he put out a video the other day and he was interviewed and he said, if you had two teams of street guys, just street guys, five aside, and they went and played basketball, and you said the winner gets 10,000 bucks, do you think those guys, and there's no rules, do you think those guys would cheat? Do you think that they would cheat to win that prize? And then he said, well, why wouldn't elite and world governments with trillions and trillions of dollars at stake and the power to control humanity, why wouldn't they lie to you? Why wouldn't they cheat and steal and deceive you? Why do you think they wouldn't do that? You'd have to be nuts to believe that that would be the case. And I hear what he's saying. Victorians at the moment are suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. In love with their captor. A man who has brutalised them and then is now offering them a way forward in peace and love. And It's okay. Come on, vote for me. It's a, it's a Stockholm Syndrome. We're seeing it in America. Although they have, in their midterm elections over there, the Democrats, who were expected to be wiped out of this during the midterm elections, and they're going to lose, but even so, not to the extent that they were expected. So what do you think's happened? The Democrats went on the rampage with this whole abortion issue, Wade versus Roe, where they removed the rights of the federal government, for want of a better phrase, to control abortion issues and allowed it to be controlled by each individual state. And so then they said, that's what you're going to get with Republicans, all your rights taken away. And in fact, that's exactly what they're doing. <laughs> and so that really did affect the vote. But again, it's a, it's a form of Stockholm Syndrome. I feel sorry for Victoria and I feel sorry for Victorians. They vote Dan Andrews out, they get the Liberal government, and they are just a bunch of weak-willed wimps. They have no backbone. Two wings, one bird, same bird. Never forget that. The illusion of choice. The illusion of choice. Anyway, we know we win. Never forget it. We know we win. In the end, people like these Rothschilds, will be held accountable for everything they've ever done. Peace and light, that old guy, Australia. Love you all. Take care. Like, share, subscribe.